Before we get too far into this, I want to clear up a handful of things. The subject of this video is somebody who's had a long-running history of bad behavior, some of it ranging from the category of mildly questionable, all the way down to horrifically deranged. There's proof of it in numerous places dating all the way back to the early 2010s, as far as I'm able to tell, but that isn't the purpose of this video. I'm not here to catalog all the horrible things the subject has done in the past and tell you what a bad person they were then. Instead, I am going to present to you several horrific things this person has done as of this year to help you understand how bad of a person they still are today. A lot of people despise this person, and as you'll come to see, it isn't undeserved. But some people still avidly defend them, including myself up until recently. If you currently defend this person, just like I used to, then you're the person who needs to watch this video more than anybody. What you'll see may be more eye-opening than you want to believe right now, and if you watch this video and find yourself with more questions than answers about the person you think you know, then I'll link a few resources in the description to help point you in the right direction. Now, with all that out of the way, we can begin. I'm just getting warmed up. This is Von Klauswitz shit. Total fucking war. Zerkalo is a social media artist and fursuit maker. They also create various other paraphernalia relating to the furry fandom, and have been known for running various Twitter gimmick accounts dedicated to hunting predators over the past few years. For roughly two years, I considered him a close friend, and from February of 2022 until June of 2022, I was their roommate, right up until a house fire that ended with me moving away. Our friendship ended in early August of 2022 for reasons that we'll be discussing more as we go on, but at the time, they mostly revolved around several points of contention that I did not find to be morally correct. Now before we get too deep into this segment, I want you to understand that this particular segment is not a list of the worst things that Zerkalo has done. All it is, is an account of personal wrongs Zerkalo has done to me specifically that I can prove. I'll have accompanying screenshots to corroborate any claims made, so for those of you who have another tab open, be ready to tab back into the video if you wish to see it. Over the course of my time knowing Zerkalo, I believed them to be a person I could trust. There were times I confided in him as a friend, times he assisted me with evidence gathering, but despite these things, I was inevitably confronted with the reality of the situation, which was that I was a tool being used by a less than reputable person for their own ends. Zerkalo has always had a special brand of ire for people who start bringing up certain things in his past, typically claims documented by a gossip forum known as Kiwi Farms, as well as claims made by individuals like SpaceX McKitty or other individuals who have been relentlessly following Zerkalo's actions. More often than not, Zerkalo's tactics on dealing with those sources is to deride them without debunking their assertions in the hopes that making them seem less than reputable will cause people to not listen. Now I bring this up because during many of these situations, I would be dragged in by one party or another and typically provide some form of defense for Zerkalo. At the time, I believed him to be a friend who was not guilty of these things he'd been accused of, which makes wanting to defend them a very natural impulse. Hell, even now I can't be certain how many of the claims are true and how many aren't, but an important note here is that the manipulation at play, the idea that I was giving my friend the benefit of the doubt, had left me conditioned to hyperfocus on what I knew wasn't true so that I could defend my friend. Now you may ask what I have to prove this. How can I possibly prove the level of trust I put in this person, and how can I possibly prove how far they'd go to manipulate that trust? Well, to that end, I present you this. A tweet Circalo made recently that shows exactly how long they've been preparing for this specific situation. The screenshot Circalo shows in this tweet is a very real fear I had possessed for a while. It was the fear that looking into the degenerates that I do in order to expose them, rapid exposure to the heinous actions they commit, that those things could cause desensitization to such an extent that I could be effectively groomed into thinking I liked it. After all, we've seen people like Sappho, like Quantum, 
Deranged psychopaths groom multiple people into thinking they enjoy this sick, twisted shit. It's natural I'd have a fear like that in my mind. I trusted Zerkala with this information. This fear, back in 2021. A full calendar year. That is how long Zerkalo has been preparing to discard me, and ruin me on his way out. But let's assume this isn't enough to verify the betrayal. If it isn't, this should be. This screenshot shows Quantum knew this fear, which is one I never told him, or anybody else in that chat. He even confirmed Zerkalo told this to him, and given that Zerkalo had the knowledge and saved this message, I don't doubt the legitimacy of the claim. But let's go deeper and we'll assume you still have doubts as to whether you should trust my claims against Circalo. If you recall, Hypnotist Sappho went to extreme lengths during the help ban Coyote Lovely altercation last summer. She went so far that she harassed my parents with false claims of litigation, and even urged people to firebomb what she believed to be my home. And now you can see where she got the idea. I can't say for sure when Zerkalo tried to give them this idea, I can't say for sure what Zerkalo was thinking. What I can say for sure is that Zerkalo was in direct communication with Sappho, and Zerkalo freely admitted to urging them to target my loved ones. Did Zerkalo specify to target him? Maybe. He's the only one confirming that narrative. But the fact remains that Zerkalo urged a deranged lunatic to target people I loved in order to punish me for standing up to them. To me, that is beyond the pale. But let's keep operating under the assumption that this still, for some reason, just isn't good enough for you. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that you are the world's most prolific contrarian. Allow me to present to you this. This was Zerkalo joking about how Sappho was suggesting they end themselves on the night. She showed a picture of a shotgun in the help ban Coyote Lovely chat. Mind you, Zerkalo believed the gun to be real which I can prove with this. This conversation occurred before Zerkalo joked about this. Now, let's forget if you agree or disagree that the world would be a better place without Sappho. That isn't the point. The point is that Zerkalo had every reason to believe Sappho may harm herself or others and had means to do so, and Sappho had attached my name, first and last, to the action itself. If Sappho made a choice to do something that night, there's a possibility it would have had severe repercussions for me, Zerkalo's quote-unquote friend. Despite this, Zerkalo still made these comments. For everything I did, for all the trust I put in him, despite all the things I ever did to try to be there for him, these were the ways Zerkalo threw them in my face. You may wonder why I'm telling you this first, and it's because I believe it's important that anyone watching who may still be friends with Zerkalo knows exactly what waits for you. Sooner or later, the other shoe is going to drop, and things will end badly. When that happens, everything you trusted them with, all the goodwill you gave them, it will be thrown right into your face, and that's because, to Zerkalo, you were just a resource to accomplish a task. You never meant anything. And you never will, either. I'm gonna pull the whole thing down. I mentioned that I cut ties with Circalo due to them continuously doing things that I did not find morally correct. One of these being the repeated placement of children in harm's way while they ran what is commonly referred to as gay ops. For those of you who do not know what a gay op is, I'll have the Urban Dictionary definition on screen for you. I welcome you to pause and read it. One such situation revolves around a fellow gimmick account operator called Zoophile Ells. Zoophile Ells is a miner, and is one of several miners that Zerkalo keeps an active friendship with, which is somewhat concerning in and of itself when you take into account that Zerkalo is in his mid-thirties. Zerkalo has been repeatedly placing Zoophile Ells in situations where they are in chats around known predators like Hypnotist Sappho and Quantum Kitty, both of whom I have discussed ad nauseum on this channel. As you can see from these screenshots, Zerkalo knowingly placed a miner directly in a chat with two people they knew to be predators. Zoophile Ells was also not the only miner placed in these positions, as Elite Shark was also in some of these same situations when they were only 17. Naturally, all of this is concerning in its own right. However, 
It becomes much more alarming when you take into account that Zircalo began a romantic relationship with the lead shark once they turned 18. According to the pair, both of them began dating after Shark was swatted, which, even if we set aside the action of taking advantage of a high-stress situation, it's important to remember that when Zircalo met Shark, Zircalo was 34 and Shark was 17. Essentially, when broken down to base traits, Zircalo was a fully grown adult in a position of perceived authority who orbited a minor until they turned 18, then capitalized on a high-stress situation to engage in a relationship. I don't believe I need to expound on this topic further and explain why this is both inappropriate and immoral, and I don't intend to treat you all like your children who need it explained to you. I'm going to bring the whole fucking diseased, corrupt temple down on your head. This clip has been circulating Twitter ever since I published it, and I'm confident you've all seen it in other videos, such as Lanz's recent video on Zircalo. For the sake of posterity, though, I will play it again for you right now. You refuse to interact with the people accusing you on Kiwi Farms, even if you have damning evidence against them. Instead, you spam a link wherever people accuse you outside of Kiwi Farms, realizing literally nothing about the fact that this does not actually help your case. You interact with minors concerning sexual topics, despite knowing the fact that your previous Zoophile Struggles account, under its previous owner, got in trouble for far worse actions, because you don't look at the op optics of that. You're still operating Zoophile Struggles accounts, even though people are constantly accusing you of nonsense. For what purpose? I really, really want for some of it. Why? I don't no. like I'm having a fun time. I'm sorry. This I'm is really not... sorry. I mean, this is I'm not in the serious. mood to joke. This isn't this funny. This isn't a joke. What does the pins have anything to do with any of this? I, for the first time in my life, found something that I liked. I like. I like keeping children you safe. You are a furry, and this is the first time you found something you liked? Yeah. What is it you liked? <laughs> I'm listening. What is it? You I'm like? trying. I can hear the cat in the background. The cat is kind of upset right now, so I think that might be something to do with it. No. I, did, I didn't come in here wanting to yell at you, but when I'm asking you very specific direct questions and you turn it into a joke, that's not funny to me. That's not a joke! But you literally said, like, the dumbest reason. I you started don't care. laughing afterwards. Do you not understand that that is how somebody sees something as a joke? Oh, hold on. No, in fairness, I started laughing. I think that was a response to me laughing. This clip is from the middle of May 2022. It was part of a call between me, Sir Kahlo, Lyo Convoy Reviews, Hateful Tate, and Monstrous. The last three individuals wanted to understand Sir Kahlo's side of events after reading what they had on Kiwi Farms, as well as seeing what they had on Twitter. I was there to record the call, which all parties knew I was doing, as well as moderated efficiently, since I was friends with all parties involved at the time. I kept the recording of the call because that part specifically was something I didn't understand, but after knowing what I do with all the things being what they are, I understand it a lot better now. The simple fact is that everything Zircalo has done, betraying people who trusted him, putting miners in danger, trying to become a figurehead of multiple communities. All of it was done in order to maintain some semblance of normalcy. They did all this, everything you've heard in this video and more, just to try and get back in the good graces of the community so they could continue to buy for Sona pins. I want you to take a moment and process all of that. Everything you have seen and heard has been in the pursuit of tiny enamel pins that make them happy. That is what they value over the safety and trust of others. While we're on the subject, allow me to show you another clip from Cast War Fox's recent stream, where you can see what they've done to another friend of theirs, Icy Dude. Keep in mind what their goal was while you listen to their story, and keep in mind how much of it 
may resemble my own that you've heard earlier. Icy dude got uh, Zarkalo sent them self harm imagery, so they're kind of involved, and uh, Zarkalo oh. threatened to dox them. What the fuck? The yeah. fuck? Are you are you yeah. serious? Yeah, that's oh. pretty well documented. All right, all right. I remember that. Yeah. Hold on, yeah, hold that, on, that hold on. Sounds like an exception. Hold on, that hold on. That like that that is an exception. Really? I'm, hello there, icy dude. I apologize. I didn't know. I don't know anything about you. Okay, until you now. guys able to hear me? Yes. Feel free to express your opinion here. Okay, Strugs, Zarkala. I don't give a fuck whatever you want to be called. I don't care about these allegations. Quite frankly, what I'm here for is why the fuck. Would you dox my family and expect me to even start, st continue caring about you? I, you baited me with a fucking suicide attempt, and I actually tried to help you. You know, I've try, tried to call 911, I got your parents to try and stop you from killing yourselves. You faked that shit, right? And after that, you had the balls to fucking dox me in DMs and delete that shit. Quite frankly, you get all the shit you deserve coming towards you. Do you like, uh, I would like to explain that? So, um, I was legitimately feeling suicidal. I backtracked- No, you weren't, because you no? fucking admitted it was a cat scratch. Uh, I would like to explain. Can I, can I please talk? I don't care. You admitted well, it well, was a cat first, scratch. First, I have screenshots first, of everything. You. I, okay. I, I took it to that, fucking Lanza, another fucking talk. commentary YouTuber. I've share, share the sent evidence. everything I have on you to your local police department. I don't I fucking think... care what you have to say. You're a okay. shit human being and you have everything that's coming towards you. Or everything that's coming towards you, you fucking deserve, quite frankly. I see, so may like I ask like... for, for, cause I think I vaguely remember the situation. Um, wasn't that a direct thing that happened because you, uh, reported his account after being upset that he had Hypnotist Sappho and Becca the Husky in his, uh, was it, Yeah, with... because I reported a fucking Twitter account? Yeah, it's yeah. not that big of a deal. I would, I would like to speak on the issue. Um, I do have logs of me being genuinely suicidal. Uh, Icy Dude, you terrified me because you called my parents. My parents threatened to kill Try me. Try and stop you from because killing yourself. No, my- Parents threatened to kick me out and because I was quote unquote starting too much drama, so I completely backtracked. But I do have logs of me genuinely being suicidal when I went to my friend's DMs. That should be around the same time. I do have the forewords. Um I I wanna apologize no, this is genuine. I see dude. I do wanna genuinely apologize. I don't really care how you feel about me, you could still hate me. That was very wrong of me. I was terrified. I was not doing well. And I apologize for putting you in that situation. Why I... are you terrified of a random nobody on the internet? Honestly, I, I don't know, care I know about him. your bugs. He was my friend it's... at the time. I've tried to defend you from, granted, all of these accusations of being a necrozoophile predator and stuff. I've tried to care, and you betrayed my trust by fucking putting my parents' lives in danger by th saying, if I was an asshole, I'd post your docs on Twitter. Your words, not mine. Hey, Ice, how old are you, just out of curiosity? I don't give a shit about your apology or anything. Would you, what words uh, you that come that out of your mouth right? don't fucking have any weight to them because they're either lies, which I've been watching this whole stream and fucking seeing you do that nonstop, and the fact that from my own personal experience, my trust can't even be put in- I can't even put, like, a fucking teaspoon of trust in your hands without it being fucked over. It's gotta be biblical. Like I said near the start of this video, there are numerous resources that can prove how bad Zerkalo was, and still is. If you've watched this video all the way through, and you find yourself questioning this person, please, Go to the description and look for them. If you're a friend of this person who is listening to this, you more than anybody owe it to yourself to know the truth of what they've done, not only to innocent people, but to others they've called friends, so you can make an informed decision for yourself and for your well-being. If you still stand by Zerkalo, 
Take it from me, a person who used to be sitting right where you are and used to call him my friend. Drop him. He does not deserve you. Until next time, I'm Coyote Lovely. Keep the information alive.